Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. This tutorial is inspired by my channel intro. Many people have requested for this. So, let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Flip Logo Animation. I am using Full HD quality. At 30 frames per seconds. Now, create a new solid. We will use it for the background. I am using this dark blue color. You are free to choose any color of your choice. Or even you can add your own custom background. Now we are going to create a new shape layer. But make sure to unselect any of the selected layer in your timeline, and then go to the rectangle tool, click and hold to see all these tool options. After selecting rectangle shape tool, you will have these option. Please note, my stroke is set to none. And for the fill option, I am using solid color. Click here to change the color of your shape layer. You are always free to choose any color. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Now, start dragging to create shape. I am using this kind of shape so that its half should look like a square. At the time of flipping our shape, it will also create a square. This square doesn't have to be perfect. And even it doesn't have to be rectangle. You can use any shape you want. Align your shape to the center vertically. Let's change this color to something else, to make it look good. Choosing a best color for your projects is really a most important part. Make sure to use nice and professional looking color. Now press Y to select the anchor point tool. And align this anchor point to the edge of this shape. While dragging this anchor point press and hold control key to snip it perfectly. Now, we need to make this shape layer a 3D layer. For this, we need to toggle switches. You can toggle it by pressing F4 key. But in this tutorial we also need this track mat option. So let's click here, and in the column section, select switches. And we have both switches and mode section here. Now, click here to make your layer a 3D layer. Let's rename this layer as page first. Here is my timeline, it is set to the 1 second time gap. 1, 2, 3, 4. If you press the plus key, you can actually zoom into your timeline. Now we have 10 frames time gap. Go to the 10th frame, and press R to open rotation. Now, add a keyframe to the X rotation. Go to around 1 second, and change X rotation value to 180 degree. Here we have our first page flip animation. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now open this graph editor, select end keyframe and drag this handle to make the graph curve like this. Here we have nice and smooth page flip animation. But we need to add lighting to make it look more realistic. But adding a real light will not be helpful. So I have this trick. Go to the effects and presets and search for hue and saturation. Apply this effect on this shape layer. Make sure you are at the first keyframe. And then click here to add another keyframe of this hue effect. Then go to around here, and change the master lightness to negative 30.
and then go to something like here, and change master lightness to zero. Let's trim out our composition play timing at this point. Press N to set the end point. Now we can play this part only. This is actually a time saving thing. Let's ramp preview this. Cool. This looking nice to me. Now, select your shape layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Drag this layer to the left, so it will start from 10th frame. Make more copies and arrange them at 10 frames gap. Let's play this to see how it is looking. Cool. In case you think that the animation is slow, you can zoom in more into your timeline by pressing plus key. And then, set your layer starting point to the 5 frames gap. It will increase the speed of your animation. Cool. You can keep this speed if you like, but for this tutorial I am going with the 10 frames gap version. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo these steps. Right now, all our pages are flipping to the bottom. But we need one page to stay up, so that we can place our logo onto it. Select your top layer and make a duplicate of it. Go to the beginning of these layers. And press U to open keyframes only. Select all these keyframes and delete them. We don't need any animation on this shape layer. Also, we don't need this hue and saturation effect on this layer, so you can delete it as well. Ramp preview this and now you have nice page flip animation. Let's increase the playback area to see our animation. Perfect. This is what we were looking for. Now we are going to add our logo on the top of this layer. I am using this logo of my another YouTube channel. It is called Mr. SFX. Place this logo on top of all these layers. My logo is too big, so let's scale it to fit on the box. Press S to open scale and scale it down. Also, make sure to add this to the center. Perfect. Right click on the logo layer and pre-compose it. Always pre-compose your logo, so that you can change it later for another client. Select this page 6 layer, and make a duplicate of it. Place it to the top of all layers, now we are going to mask out our logo from this page 7 layer. Change none to alpha matte. Now our logo will be visible at this layer size. Select your both layers and again make a duplicate of it. It will duplicate our both layers, as well as it will mask out our logo by default. Here is the important part. Change alpha matte to alpha inverted matte. Perfect. Now, make sure to make your logo layers to a 3D layer by clicking on this cube icon. Cool. I am going to apply same page flip animation to the top logo layer, so that it will flip with the page layer. We can do this easily by parenting it to the layer. If you don't see your parent tab here, right click on the top. And in the columns, select parent. Select this pick quick and drop it onto the page 5 layer. Now, this logo will be animating same like these page flip layers. but. My logo is also visible from the beginning of the animation. We need to trim out our logo appearing timing, where we want it to be appear. For this tutorial, I want my logo to be appear here. So select your both logo layers and trim out the opening timing from here. Perfect. One more thing. I want to have some shadows on my bottom of the logo as well, because it is flipping. So, select your top logo layer again, and apply the same hue and saturation effect on it as well. Let's add some keyframes to add some depth into our scene. 
you are always free to do as you like it. I am here just to show you the basic concept. Ram preview this and now you have this nice looking animation. Let's add another animation to these flipping pages. Select all layers, except the background layer. And then pre-compose it. Let's call it page flip. Go to around 3 seconds, and then press S to open scale. Add a keyframe on scale and change the size of your animation to be appear on the last frame. Now press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Press R to open rotation and add a keyframe on it as well. Now press U to open keyframes only. And then go to the first frame. I am adding some random value to its transform position, so that, our animation will look like it is flying from somewhere. But make sure your animation should not be visible on the first frame. I am using some random values, you can choose any value you want. Here is my animation, select all your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and change the graph curve to something like this. Ramp review this, and our animation is complete. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a creative day.